Carolyn Doobie here, and today I'm playing with one of my new stencils from over at Stencil Girl Products. I'm taping it down there to a piece of deli paper and grabbing some acrylic paint as I'm playing with the stencil called Blueprints of Archaeological Treasures 6x6 size. Well, the name of it probably gives you an idea of where the inspiration came from when I designed this stencil. Whenever I'm traveling to archaeological type sites, one of the things they always have are these incredible blueprints, maps of all the different things that they found while they've been digging up the site. And that's the feeling that I tried to capture with this stencil. So here it is with the paint all dry, and I'm just going to take a black pen, and now I'm going to draw in some of the different elements that might exist in this made-up, make-believe blueprint of an archaeological site in my head. Those are big columns lining each side of that long hallway. And this site, by the way, I'm totally making up in my head, and it's completely whatever I want it to be. That's the cool part about making your own. That is a giant fountain with all sorts of little elements around it in that room. And if I want to create storage or apartments or treasure rooms or the equivalent of government offices, I'll make, I'll make these offices over here. That's what it'll be, public offices. And I definitely want some shopping where I'm at. And I love the look of when there are stores lining um, the walkways, like in Pompeii. So that's what I'm going to build over here. Those are the shops over there. And I'm trying to be mindful, too, that I know that I love columns and that open courtyard look. So I don't want to put too many columns in here. But I definitely think I'm going to need a few more than what I've got so far. So right there in the front, I like some columns up there. Well, what am I going to do with my little archaeological map here when I'm all done? You know, I'm not sure. I can't decide if I'm going to use it in an art journal page or if I'm going to use it for collage or if I'm going to do something else with it. But you know what? I don't have to know right now. I'm just having fun playing and making this. And by the way, yeah, I had to add some more columns in there because you know what? I really like them. And since I'm the one doodling this and drawing on it, I can make it do whatever I want it to do. I'm not trapped by those crazy constraints called reality or truth. This is just absolute playtime for me. So once I'm all done with this, I've got my blueprint just about finished here. Then the last thing I'm going to do is add in the numbers. There are always little numbers everywhere when I see archaeological drawings. Well, thanks for joining me for today's play. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more of my play, I'd love it if you subscribed to my YouTube channel. And of course, you can find out all sorts of happenings over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com. This stencil, as well as all of my others, can be found at stencilgirlproducts.com. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey.